Hello and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm going to share with you my July the 4th uh, card and um, not so much the actual making of the card but how I created this little custom banner. Um, now for my for my for my uh, card he here I used the Dandelion Wishes stamp set to create like the, the, the starburst from the fireworks uh, and I couldn't find a stamp set that had cr celebrate uh, the 4th of July so I bought out this new stamp set um, which came out in the new catalogue at the beginning of June called Make a Difference and inside here is 143 little letters which may seem a bit daunting to start with but that's the purpose of this video is to give you a few hints and tips on how to use this stamp set to to get the best out of it now the first thing that i did do was that i actually took each of the sheets and i placed them on my photocopier and created a um a, a background really to go into my into my stamp box and I find it so much easier to find these letters when I'm looking at them on here and then just looking to see where they are on the sheet. So that was my that's my my first tip. Now the second tip is to use some of the little A blocks and the first time I used it I tried to put my whole word on one block and I was finding it difficult to uh, line it up and the letters were too far apart and, and I felt a little bit despondent about it. But when I came to create this Celebrate one, I thought, no, I'm going to just go ahead and, and try again and see if I can get the, um, the effect I'm looking for. So um, I've got a strip of, of white Whisper White cardstock here and it's just three quarters of an inch uh, wide uh, and uh, that's and what I, I used to create the um, banner here and all I'm going to do is to just take each of my letters in turn so I'm gonna have my big C for celebrate and pop it on there and then my E now my E I'm going to use about three times so I'm not going to take that one off and on I'm just going to leave that on the block and then I'm going to put because um, I've got three blocks I'm going to put my L so there's my L so I've got my C E L for my celebrate okay now my next tip is for you to invest in one of the simply chamois um, this is uh, um, a cleaning tool and all I did was I cut mine in half in, in a quarters actually and I um, just soaked it in some water there's the other quarter you can see that it, it's a bit like a ship's biscuit at the moment but when you put some water on it either with a spritz or to run it under the tap it will actually um, soften really nicely and this makes it really convenient for cleaning these little pieces in between times so I'm going to I'm going to use Knight of Navy as my ink and I'm going to move my card so I don't get ink all over it. And I'm going to start with my C and all I'm going to do just gently tap it to ink it up, not too much pressure. And I'm just going to make sure that it's upright. So there's my C and while we're at it, we can do. Oh, look at that. Didn't press hard enough but I should be able to line that back up. There we go. And a third time. So there's my first letter down. And then just a little um, wipe on the Simply Chamois and then you've got your block clean. And I strongly recommend that you put them back down onto your piece of, um, onto the, the packing straight away because uh, they will get they will get lost now my e so now i'm just going to just look through because it's photopolymer and i'm just going to make it look as though it's running off of the c there like that and then i'm going to just 
clean that up but I'm not taking that one off because I'm going to be using that letter several more times and then with my L I apologize if my head gets in the way I'll try my best to I'm just lining it up and you know the way that these letters are if they're a weeny bit crazy not quite level it still doesn't matter it still looks good and then I'm going to clean this one up again and then I will put that one back and then I'm going to go back in with the E and then you just carry on so the ne so the next letter is going to be an R and I strongly recommend as well that you um, spell the word out in front of you um, it's easier to follow letter written down than to try and remember it and then I'm going to say I'm going to put my R in like that not as good as it should be because I'm kind of working at a weird angle but you get the idea so you just build up um, your your message the stamp set has got letter numbers one through four and then interestingly it has also got like the that's easier to show you um, on here it's got the th like for the th and the rd for if it's like the third and st which would be like for the first or the 31st or the 21st and nd which is great for the second 22nd etc so this is a really really useful um, little stamp set for making custom uh, messages uh, it is really quick and easy to do uh, as long as you have a, a few simple um, tips and hints to follow through and then all I did was to cut mine into a, a banner and used a couple of dimensionals to stick it onto the front um, of my card and then the red rhinestones which um, I've, I've decorated up all over the front of my card. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this um, little video um, introducing you to the Make a Difference stamp set. I hope it will encourage you to, to treat yourself to it, to make those customised uh, messages. Well, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.